Hey everyone, it's Bridget here. And I sat here for a while <laughs> with this phone, getting ready to hit the live button and wondering, should I really do this? <laughs> but here I am, live. And um, it's uh, Thanksgiving Day in uh, North America. And uh, I feel like sharing because <sighs> this really isn't just about Thanksgiving Day. It's about every day now, not just one day a year. And as we are moving through a time where a lot of truth is coming up for us to look at, we're looking at the truth all over the place, in the nooks and crannies, and in the deep, deep down where things have been hidden. And uh, it can be really uncomfortable to take a look at some of the truths that are coming up to rise. And there can be this uh, pushing away or denial that we have around what really is happening to people on the planet. And um, I want to encourage us all to not push it down into the deep down and take a look at really what's happening inside of us so that we can do the best that we can right now to stand up for what is right, to see what is hidden, and to stop the um, oppression and hatred that is happening to the people on our planet. Um, and so as I think about Thanksgiving, I think about the truth of what happened that marked this day and made it a famous celebration day. And um, I know that a lot of you are recognizing too that uh, First Nations people were um, uh, killed and tricked and manipulated in order for the English to come over and conquer this country. I know that you know that and I know that you're probably wondering what you can do about it because I wonder what to can I do now that I know because once we know we can't unknow. And so we need to make choices and changes in how we do things and how we talk about things and how we are walking through this life. And I want everyone, including myself, to know that we can still have time with our families on this day. We can still honor the love that is in our hearts around this holiday as we honor and recognize the truth. So what does that look like? How do we celebrate Thanksgiving, a day that's supposed to be about gratitude, and also honor that the backs that this holiday was built upon are not being honored? How do we do that? Um, and I think there's a lot of ways that we can do it. I think there's a lot of different things that we can do. Um, one of the things that we can do is to change how we do this day change how we do this day. So anybody, anywhere, can change their routine or change their ritual, right? So when I get up in the morning on a day like this, I think about all of the people who lost their lives or were hurt or betrayed because of this day. I get up and I recognize and I willingly walk into this day holding the truth. It doesn't feel good, uh, but it feels like I'm honoring what's really real. So we can do that. And we can decide that the day can unfold in a way that we want it to unfold. Not the way our parents showed us, not the way everybody else does it, but the way that we want this day to unfold. And we can do it intentionally. So what, some ideas for how to change the energy and the vibe of this day are to have a ritual or a meditation time in the morning. And that can be 30 seconds long, or it can be 10 minutes long. For me, I sit and, well, I, if I can go outside and be in nature, I do that. Sometimes that's possible, sometimes it's not, depending on where I'm at. But I sit in my sacred place and I light a candle and I lay out some prayers and some blessings. I ask that, I bless, I bless up and offer prayers for so many things, for the people who were hurt, for the Native First Nations people who are still being hurt, for, I pray for reparation and for things to come around right in a good way. And I have a series of things that I do, but you don't need to do all that. You can sit and light a candle and 
acknowledge the truth. Light a candle for the hearts of the people on the planet, the hearts of the First Nations people. And while you're at it, light a candle for all the people, all the brown people, all the black people, all the people of color who are being oppressed at this time on this planet. It's not just First Nations people during this holiday. It's That's the the, the um, folks who come to mind, but light a candle for everyone. That's one thing that you can do different. Take a trip out to Plymouth, Massachusetts. There's a day of mourning to recognize the oppression of First Nations people every Thanksgiving day. Go do that. Interrupt your routine. Take your kids with you. Make a statement that says, I believe in change and I want to bring things around right so much so that I'm going to interrupt my comfort zone and go do something different. That's another idea of what to do. <sighs> Educate ourselves on the history of this holiday. Educate ourselves on the history of the planet. And then educate ourselves. Once we educate ourselves, educate other people, our kids, our grandkids, the people in our communities. And I know this isn't comfortable, but who cares? <laughs> this, the, the truth of this is uncomfortable and we have to be okay with talking about things that are uncomfortable. I was on the phone today with my nine-year-old niece who asked me if I was celebrating Thanksgiving. And she's really smart and pretty astute and there was no way that I could just say yes or no. I needed to share with her exactly what I was doing on this day. Did it feel comfortable? No. Did the other people in my family probably not appreciate it? Maybe they didn't, but it's, it's the truth and it's my truth and it's our collective truth and I needed to share it with her. So speaking the truth when it's uncomfortable, telling the kids the truth every day, not just on Thanksgiving. That's another thing that we can do. Saying a prayer for things to come around right in a good way. That's something that everybody can do right here and right now. You can take a breath and you can ask that the patterns of abusive, oppressive behavior shift. You can ask that the darkness and the shadows come out so that we can come into the, the love and the rightness of who we are. All of this you can do. You can get involved in different, different, um, uh, sorry, I'm blanking out. You can get involved in projects. You can, can get involved in um, uh, different, um, you can get involved socially for black and brown people's rights. You can get involved. You can get off the sidelines and get involved. I am getting more involved politically and more involved in what I feel is going to help turn the tide of the planet. But what I have right now is I have my heart and I have ceremony and I have a way that I connect to making things turn around right. All of these things are things that you can do too. And they're just a few examples of how we can do this day differently. We need to do it differently. We need to give each other permission to do it differently. Expand your day. Expand what you know as Thanksgiving to include any of the things that I just shared. And these are things that we can do every day, not just on Thanksgiving. Whew, I really felt like I needed to share that. I really feel strongly that we have the power to change things. And I know that it's not going to be comfortable. Change never is. It's not going to be fun. Change and uh, turning over systems is never enjoyable. But that's not why we're here. We're not here to enjoy everything. We're here to stand up for what's right and to use our privilege. If you are white folk looking at this, and a lot of you are, we need to use our privilege in a way that's going to turn things around right. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for listening and thank you for doing one thing today that's different. One thing that changes how you celebrate this holiday. And I want to share with you as I end this, this time here a song that was sung and is sung by a sister of mine. Her name is Amani White. She's a, a a phenomenal uh, ceremonial musician and shamanic healer and it's perfect for the, these times 
and uh, it's about us being the ancestors of the ones who are yet to be. And it goes like this, and I'm no professional singer, but it really kind of encapsulates and um, describes how I feel about our responsibilities on the planet. And so it's, um, we are the ancestors of the ones yet to be, and we are the paper of the previous trees. May everything we think and do make it all come round right, cause we are the ancestors of the ones yet to be. And we are the paper of the previous trees. May everything we think and do make it all come round right. We are the ancestors of the ones yet to be. Thank you, Imani, for inspiring me with that song and inspiring us. I really do believe that we are the ancestors of the ones who are yet to be and um, there's really nothing glorious about that. It's very real, it's a responsibility that we have and we are really needing to step up every day in every way to take on, fully take on that responsibility. And right here, right now on this Thanksgiving day, we can take responsibility by making a change in the way that we do this holiday, all of us. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right, have a beautiful day. Bye for now.